What's up, you guys? This be your boy Scotty, and this is um, my perspective number ten. What's up, you guys? As you can see, <clears throat> I am feeling much better right now. I'm not sick. I feel much better, and I got my hair cut. I just feel good. Um, my little brother um, was promoted to the seventh grade today. Um, he he made the honor roll, so I've been with him and my mother and my sister and everything all day. So you know what it is. I so I finally got time to sit down and do this video. I'm gonna be talking about a couple of things. It's not gonna. I hope it's not gonna be too long because I don't really like talking about celebrity gossip that much. But you know, I know that my fans really want to hear my opinions on certain things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know what how I feel, what my perspective, uh, my what my perspective is about a couple of things. Now I was gonna talk about this one last, but I think that this is one of the hottest things that that everybody's talking about right now. So let me start off with this BET award shit. First of all, I. Can I already see that this is going to be some bullshit. The BET Awards is going to be bullshit from the nominations to the host to everything. Like, what's up with that? I don't, I don't really get it. Like, I don't, I'm not even going to talk about all the nominees because all the nominees are trash in my opinion and all of them are very predictable. But it's some categories that stick out to me that I feel like it's bullshit. You know, you got the Best Female R&B Artist Award. You have Mary J. You got Rihanna. You got um, you got Mary J. Rihanna, Beyonce. Oh shit, who else? Like I, you, they're just that they're just that bad that I forgot. But my thing is this: How you gonna have an R&B category, but not include? Kelly Rowland, not include Monica, you know what I'm saying, it's just shade, and you know, especially the video of the year, video of the year nominees, are the, those are the worst, like, you got Beyonce Countdown, Beyonce Love on top, then you got Jay-Z and Kanye, Niggas in Paris, Jay-Z and Kanye Otis, and then they just gonna, they just gonna stick Usher Climax in there, what's up with that? Why wasn't motivation nominated for anything? Like, really? Why do you even have a best female hip hop artist um, category? Why do you even have that? We already know who's gonna win. Who the fuck knows who Brianna Perry is? I don't know who the fuck she is. I only heard her on SWV new album. That says uh, that doesn't say say much. So what do you mean? Then you got Samuel Jackson hosting the BET Awards. What the fuck are B? <laughs> Like, they are so predictable right now. Like, I don't understand the BET Awards. Like, everything about it is predictable. The nominations are terrible. They are all shitty. Especially that female artist. Why is Rihanna nominated? She's not an R&B artist. So why is she nominated? And if I ask when, I'm snapping. You mean to tell me you left off people like Monica? You left off people like Jennifer Hudson even? I mean, let us see Jill Scott. Kelly Rowland, I mean, really? Like, come on, BET. This is nothing but a, you know, but a popularity contest. And this is why people don't even take BET Awards seriously. And I was one of the main people that was rallying for the BET Awards and always saying why, how black people always put down our own kind. But this shit is ridiculous. It's just very ridiculous to me. And it's crazy to me. You know what I mean? Like the BET Awards get shittier and shittier every year. And as far as we're, as far as we know now, as far as I know, the only two confirmed performers is Chris Brown and Nicki Minaj. And then they got a Whitney tribute coming, and they won't even tell who in it. And if they fuck that up, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't need Jennifer Hudson. In another Whitney tribute. I really don't. I like Jennifer Hudson. I love her. But I'm sick of them always calling her to do a tribute to Whitney. When you got people like Monica. You got people like Brandy. You got people like Kim Burrell. You know what I'm saying? You got people like that. Why won't you pick people that was close to Whitney. That can actually do a Whitney song. Like have Monica do You Give Good Love. Have, you know, Brandy do Exhale, Shoop Shoop. Have... Kim Burrell and Kelly Price do count on me. Have Faith Evans sings um, Where Do Broken Hearts Go or Miracle or something like that. Have um, 
You know, it's, it's plenty of people that could perform that was in Whitney's circle. Why don't you pick those type of people? I don't need you. For, I don't need her. Like, seriously. But I can already tell that the BET Awards are going to be ratchet as fuck. And I'm going to watch it. I'm just going to be real. I'm going to watch it anyway. And I know y'all can't wait for my commentary on that. Um, Roxy and Eddie Murphy. Y'all, let me tell y'all about her. Rox ain't nothing but a hoe. She'll fuck anything with a dick. And it just kills me. How did she end up snagging Eddie Murphy? Like, that bitch throw that pussy from the free throw line. Like, she really don't give a damn who she throw it to. If she don't give a fuck who she throw it to. I don't be surprised if the next motherfucking dick she hop on is George Clooney dick. That motherfucker don't give a damn who she fuck, to be honest. And, you know, her and Terrence um, are no longer going to be hosting 106 and Park. And... I don't, you know, and Terrence already got a new job with <coughs> with the E-Network or whatever. But Roxy, uh, ain't nobody gonna do nothing with her. Like, Terrence is doing a damn thing. He acting, he doing his little acting thing. He got the E-Job. Like, I can see him doing big things. Like, he took this 106 and Park platform and did a lot with it. So, you know what I'm saying? I can't really um, shit on him for that. Like, I like him better than Roxy anyway. So it is what it is. Like, um, one of my friends told me I should try to audition and be um, a host for 106 and Park. Child, they wouldn't even be able to handle me. I'd be probably the Charlemagne of 106 and Park. I wouldn't necessarily be rude to people, but I speak my honest opinion. Like, if the shit was whack to me, I'd say it. You know what I mean? Um, Rasby gets done, gets ready, gets getting ready to do a tell all book. You know. I'm so over Razby, and I think y'all remember when I first started my YouTube channel, I did a um, video about him, you know, trying to out people, and this is what I'm saying. If Omarion and Marcus Houston and Chris Brown and Jay Boognam is all gay and fucking each other as well as Bow Wow, who gives a fuck, to be honest? Like, you bitter about some shit that happened years ago, and you want to out people? You know, why make other people miserable? You know what I'm saying? Like, you out, and you know, everybody know that you gay, you doing your thing or whatever but why you why why do you have to write a book and disrupt other you know interrupt other people's lives and disturb their damn lives like don't you have a life of your own like what do you get out of doing it like i really don't understand what you need to do is go sit your motherfucking ass down live off the b2k chicks and just sit your motherfucking ass down somewhere like i don't understand what is your like what do you have to gain out of this to out somebody else like i don't understand it just get over yourself rasby fag b get over it like seriously like i don't understand it like get over it seriously like i just don't get it like let it just let whatever happened between you and the boys just let it go like honestly because it, 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 it make, it's only making you look bitter because the rest of these people have moved on like nobody else give a damn so fuck out of here um, I know a lot of people have been um, shitting on these people, but Patricia Houston got a reality show coming out, and she's going to be, you know, including Bobby Christina. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, Whitney ain't even been dead that long, in my opinion. Like, it's been March, April, May. It's going to be, it's like three and a half months since Whitney been gone. And y'all are already talking about doing a reality show for Lifetime. I don't know if I would even feel right watching it. Because as all my friends know, Whitney Houston was my queen. I used to love Whitney Houston. And I just think it's too soon for them to be doing this. I don't know if they're doing this for a quick book. Because, you know, you know the little controversy surrounding Whitney and her funds. Like, they ain't really got no money to go off of. I don't know why they're doing this. I don't know why they're trying to cash out her name. I don't understand. But it is what it is. I really don't know. I'm not really upset because I'm not really mad that they're doing a reality show, but I'm not really for it either. Like, we ain't been gone for almost four months now. Like, give her, like, let her rest in peace for a little while before you start trying to use her name. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Mika Claxton, formerly of the Basketball Wives, is <coughs> attacking the boy Connors. Why is she attacking them? Because she, this is her whole argument. When I was attacked, everybody was laughing, and nobody cared when I got attacked, and nobody boycotted the show, but now that she's getting boy, girl, get over it. Nobody gave a fuck 
to um, boycott the show because nobody liked you. Nobody gave a fuck about you. And then it's funny how people trying to turn it into a whole race issue, like a skin issue. I don't give a fuck about their skin color. It's not even about that for me. The, like I said in my last video, the Tammy and Mika and the Tammy and Keisha things are two different situations. Mika, however, is not right to hit nobody, but she asked to get slapped in her. She asked to get popped in her face. She came in on that show berating, scandalizing Tammy's name, talking shit about her, doing her, you know, talking about her and Royce, lying, running her mouth. And then when Tammy tried to bury the hatchet with her, she's still running her mouth, only to get popped in her face. Like, Mika came in on some fuck shit. And, and some fuck shit happened to her. That's why nobody really cares. But Keisha... And her and I don't even like I don't mind you I don't like Keisha nor Mika but my whole thing is with Keisha it's totally different all Keisha really did even though I felt like Keisha was you know kind of you know I got this passive aggressive ass attitude to be honest Keisha was already afraid of Tammy so of course Tammy was gonna look like the big bad bully because this bitch is crying she's scared of Tammy Mika wasn't scared of Tammy you didn't see Mika crying when Tammy came for her Mika was kicking her and shit pulling her hair when they got the fight you know she got an ass whoop in my opinion but you know what I'm saying she wasn't scared of Tammy Keisha obviously was and it really wasn't no big damn deal for Tammy to go in on her about saying she would have went off on her when the information was given to her wrong in the first place so that's why I don't nobody really care about what happened to Mika and people been boycotting this show long before you know the whole incident that happened in Tahiti they been start they been boycotting the show like they started boycotting the show when the damn trailer came out when they seen Evelyn throwing champagne bottles and jumping off tables and shit that's when they really started boycotting the show so Mika get over yourself stop stop looking for fame stop being thirsty every time the show airs your ass tweeting about girl just you so fucking thirsty. Get a life. This is why I don't like Mika. Like, bitch, get over yourself. Lil' Kim on the Breakfast Club. To be honest, she was on there and I guess um, she decided to make an appearance and, you know, the whole Nicki Minaj thing came up and she was, you know, talking about what happened. Honestly, you guys, I'm over this shit. I could care less about this whole Nicki Minaj and Lil' Kim beef, to be honest. I'm just over this shit. Nikki is a whack these days. I, I did like her doing Pink Friday, but now I really don't like her now because she's so obnoxious. And she doesn't seem to care about her fans and her music is whack. The only song that I like is Bees in the Trap. And I got her album, but I, I don't even feel compelled to listen to anything else because one minute she wants to be a real hard gangster bitch and then the next minute she want to be Katy Perry and Rihanna. Like, I don't understand it. So, I really don't give a fuck. This little Kim and Nicki Minaj shit is so over over it. I'm over it. It's raggedy. It's cheap. Who cares about it? Like, I'm really getting sick of little Kim even explaining the whole cash money story and how she was over there and the grind and making money song, the whack ass song. Like, little Kim, I wish you would just let that go. Fuck Nicki Minaj, do your thing. All I want you to do, Lil' Kim, is make better music. I actually want you to come back. Yes, I did a video back when I first started started my channel and I called Black Friday a flop and I still call it that because I didn't like the song. Even though I wanted her to retaliate against Nicki because Nicki had been going in on her all throughout 2010. And I wanted Kim to do a diss song back to her, make it interesting. But when she came out with Black Friday, you know, she got her flow on, right? Like, the only thing I liked about it was the flow. I didn't like it at all because I thought she could have went harder than that. Like, I've heard harder um, comebacks from Lil' Kim. Like, me being a fan of her from, from the 90s, I've heard her come hard for, like, Eve. Like, she came hard for Eve on kind came back for you on a La Bella Mafia album. Or when she came for Charlie Baltimore on Quiet Storm. Or when she came for Shine on um, the Notorious K.I.M. album. Like... Kim have, has had better diss songs than that. And, Ro and Roman's Revenge made Black Friday look like shit in my opinion. Like she really went in on Kim on that song. And all Kim could really say 
about um, Nicki Minaj was that she was a little Kim clone clown or whatever. Like, I thought she could have did better than that, and I still stand by what I'm saying. But this beef is so tired and delayed, I really don't give a fuck about it. I wish they both would just move the fuck on. This whole thing with Azealia Banks is a mess, and I like Azealia Banks, and I really wish that Lil' Kim would have worked with her, but I don't really care. But the, the Nicki fans... The, the you know the Barbies and the Ken dolls need to get over and so does the Kim fans like how many YouTube videos do we have to see about this beef I am so over it and I know some people might come from my neck to saying it but I really don't care I'm just over this shit let Lil Kim do her thing and let Nicki do her thing Nicki's album is not like Okay, and this is another thing that I'm getting annoyed by. As much as I don't like this album, her album really isn't flopping. Is it selling the way the first album did? No. Did anybody really expect it to sell the same way? I didn't expect it to sell the same way. Like, I didn't expect it to move so quickly like the other one did. But I wouldn't necessarily call this album a flop, really. Like, it's still selling. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a flop. I mean, that's just how I feel about it, but I just want this shit to be over. I'm sick of it. Like, I don't, ugh. I don't care. Move on to something else. Like, Kim just did some nice shit when she brought Eve and Missy on stage. I need them three to do a song together now. Eve and Missy got albums coming out. They need to get that together. They really need to get that together and get a song together. Like, seriously. Like, if they, like, them three do a song together, throw the bread on there. Or throw Trina, somebody on that song. Like, give us the latest night part two that we can deal with. You know what I mean? So, I just want Lil' Kim to come back. Like, the shit that she's been releasing lately, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Like, If You Love Me was cheap to me. Keys to the City was a step in the right direction, but it was like a southern ass 2006 sound song. Like, I ain't like it like that. Like, it's like she trying to step up, but it's still not good enough for me because I, I was a big Lil' Kim fan a long time ago. You know, I actually liked her and Nicki Minaj, to be honest. I just thought that Lil' Kim was looking like a bitter, you know, one of the bitter veterans. That's how she was making herself look. But... You know, I'm just over this whole little Kim and Nicki thing. And I'm over the fans to a both um, artists. Like, they all spend their time going in on Kim. They spend their time going in on Nicki. Get over it, child. Just like, ugh, get over it. Like, get over it. It's not that serious. Get over it. Um, and my last thing about it, um, last thing I want to talk about is Raven Simone being gay. Lord, I did not know that Miss, that little Olivia was eating more than Pizza Hut. I had no idea. But, you know, if that's if that's how she wanna live her life, that's how that's how she wanna live her life. Like like I don't, I ain't never I haven't really seen anybody dissing her about it. But you know, it is what it is like, hell Queen Lie gay and everybody love her. So who really give a damn? More power to you, Raven. If your ass is gay and if you like to get your pussy ate, bye bye bitch, that's you. I don't give a fuck. If that's what you like, if you like a woman's tongue up your ass, that's you. I don't give a damn, girl. Do what you do what you feel. Live your own life. I don't give a damn. Everybody should live their own life and everybody should mind their own motherfucking business. And if they don't like it, tell them to kiss your ass. That's how I feel about it. Tell them to eat your pussy like like your bitch are doing. You know what I'm saying? So you know, that's how I feel about it. Like, more power to um, Raven Simone. Um, before I go, I was supposed to do a Bitch Are You Serious video, but like I, like I was telling y'all, I have been really sick, but now I'm not. I just got a light cough now, but I'm not really sick now. But um, I'm going to do a Bitch Are You Serious number two video. Yeah, I wanted that. Um, let's see, what else is coming up from me? Um, the next, um, probably, um, I'm going to do the My Wives finale and reunion video. Then, you know, of course, I'm doing my Basketball Wives video. And I'm going to try to do more videos because, you know, I only get y'all, this is going to be the second video I get y'all this week. And I don't like giving y'all just one or two videos a week. Because I don't know what it is. Um, no, I got to do my shout-outs before I go. Shout-out to my YouTube folks. Um, uh, Forest, because I know I be forgetting people. Forest Rocks, The Boy Dashing, Kid Star 88, uh, Closet Freak, um, Much Love from KY, Ashley Shy Miller, 
um, Love and Angie B in the Rainbow Connection, Sweet Edition TV. I just talked to Candy on Facebook. Love her to death. Um, D Delicious Queen 83, I love you. Um, Jackson Family Values, even though they don't do videos anymore, I'm still shouting them out. Quan's World 1. And I think that's about it. I, Lord knows I hope I didn't forget anybody. Because once I review, once I look at the video, I see, damn, I forgot to call their name. Blah, blah, blah. But I think I called everybody's name. So, um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, do so at www.twitter.com slash Mr. Underscore Steel Standing. Email me for advice at Mr. Steel Standing with the G at yahoo.com. I'm out of here, you guys. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.